Hello, hello, beautiful people. Let me tell you guys, I'm Mr. Mokoto. I am proudly Mr. Mokoto's product. No more than Mr. Mokoto is over six seven eighty five ninety eight one thirty three. Hello, my name is Mama Motsi. I can swear to God, I'm Mama Motsi. I'm Mama Motsi. I'm So video ni yaka jenu ki ausiwa ex member. Ili man hasa ken ya zetsi si ilalo sanghai lo le kanya ni spiritual husband sahai se lo ngo o ila bolelwa ke mo wa ba prophet ba kirek jwa le gona ba ba go se sa tsi bintu tsana tsa body spiritual husband ke di utlwa gona ke jena re go la ha o ntse go hlaha ho utlwa di kirek tsena na tsa tsa bo gata tsena na jwa le tsena se tla go utlwa go ha ile hangata go feta hanya ni di spiritual husband ke bona ba thobana ba ileng hello everybody um i'm denzalo I hope you guys are doing well. I just want to share with you this other story that happened to me. Uh, this is in terms of spirituality. So I was born in 1990 on the 14th of February. So I just turned 33 this year. Uh, this is just a little bit of background that you should know uh, so that you can understand a little bit of what I'm about to tell you. Um, so when I was born into the fam my family, <laughs> um, my family was going to ZCC. They attended ZCC then, they still do now. Some of my siblings and, and, and some of my other relatives. Um, so basically how my story start is, on the 30th of June in 2018, we had a night vigil at home that usually ZCC members usually have at their home. Some of you are, are familiar of this kind of night vigils because they are quite popular as ZCC is popular um, and I've got a little note here so that I do not forget anything that I've planned to share with you so June 2018 that's when we had the night vigil at home and the same year in October I started a new job in uh, Rotterdam in, jo in Johannesburg I was working in four ways be before that so while staying in Pretoria so when I got a job in Rotterdam I had to move and and decided to um now i want to stay in rotobot so i moved so in rotobot i was staying in lindhaven and in lindhaven um ZCC had a branch in Princess. So if you know the suburbs, you will understand what I'm talking about. Princess is not too far from 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 a Westgate Mall. Um, it's an informal settlement. This is where ZCC had their branch. They usually call it Little Falls branch, but you might find it easier if you say Princess. So I started going to church in that area and I was told by several prophets and prophetesses that I too was going to be a prophetess. Prophets and prophetesses alike such started to give me Dayelo to abide by. Dayelo is an order instructing you to drink certain teas, bathing with certain mixtures of healing water, sand, stones, etc. I recall one order instructed me to get a two liter bottle, collect water where two streams meet, two stones and keep them inside the bottle. During that time, I received so many orders, but I managed to fulfill all of them. I was told every weekend I must attend the female practice and Sunday I must go to church, like to attend the Sunday service. I was also instructed not to ever miss a weekend unless I was on my period and um, if you're a female and you go on your periods or your menstrual cycle, you have to stay away from that church. You don't touch that uniform, even if it's yours, your teas, everything that teas, anything that is related to the church. I was doing well in my career. Luckily, I still am. I was entertaining the prospects of getting married and start a family. And this man noticed me whilst I was following these orders. Several prophets and prophetesses told me a man wanted to marry me. I didn't know this man, never met him, but they told me that God chose him for me and I must accept his proposal. The prophet told me that I was never going to divorce him or never get married to anyone else besides him. I was still taking orders from the prophets, thinking this was God-arranged marriage. I accepted. 
And by the time I accepted, it was November 2019. And the prophet, again, instructed me to tell my family, particularly my mom, even though I still had not met this man. And I did. I told my mom. He, too, was strictly told to not approach me yet by prophets. By February 2020, I had started dreaming about this man and his family that had departed the family that was that that is late in these dreams they told me his name his occupation number of children he had two boys or he has two boys and how he was supposed to treat me and vice versa still told not to meet covid19 led the country into lockdown in march the 26th 27th of 2020 and so were the churches so ZCC is a very large church that boosts more than 15 million people nationally in South Africa alone um, to combat the spread of the virus. ZCC was was the to combat the virus, the spread of the virus. ZCC was the first to be looked at to have their doors temporarily closed. Prophets again gave me orders not to go to church. Um, and not risk meeting him. There were no services on Sunday, but individual visits were allowed. I was supposed to be properly handed to him according to what I was told. 1st of June 2021, I had a dream and on the dream I was told he was no longer my husband. We were divorced. Now I wake up with a lot of questions in my head. Prophets told me that a marriage like this, there is no divorce. So why am I now dreaming that we are divorced? We're no longer together. And according to me, from where I, where I was standing, I didn't do anything wrong. And I wasn't told what he did wrong, if he ever did anything wrong. So this was very puzzling. I had not met this man, but now we were divorced. I forgot to mention, prior to the 1st of June of 2021, I was having sex with spirits. How do I know this? I'd wake up with an orgasm. And I had a lot of sleep paralysis with a shadow of a man in my bedroom. Somehow I knew this shadow of a man is my husband. On the 1st of June of 2021, I did not only get divorced, I was told my husband is Barnabas Lekhanyani. If you don't know Barnabas Lekhanyani, this man is called the bishop of the church. He has led the church for several decades. This is a plus minus 80 years old senior citizen. I refused. At this point, I had not told anyone or anything because prophets will prophet or prophet prophetesses alike will tell you to keep everything a secret the church thrives on secrecy i was also told in the dream that he was going to give me children barnabas now how was i going to meet barnabas this was also revealed to me in a series of dreams but once the churches reopened that once the churches reopened i was going to wear that green and yellow uniform for women go to little falls or princess branch on the first sunday there was going i was going to meet an elderly woman who was going to give me green and yellow uniform with higher ranking to wear to symbolize my position on that very Sunday, Barnabas would have sent two delegates. These delegates are pastors of high ranking and they are based in Moria, Bolukwane. These two pastors are his trusted people to do his silly things. Coming from Moria, Bolukwane, to Little Falls or Princess, they were going to fetch me and one elderly woman and go back to Moria with me same day. And I was going to have sex with him the very same night. This story is known by his wife, Elizabeth, but churchgoers know her as Mamukiti and the rest of his family, his children and extended family. After refusing to be made Barnabas's wife, 
in one dream post announcing that I was going to marry an old man, I was in a wedding marrying him. I interpreted it as this is what people refer as a spiritual wedding. And that's when my trouble started. Let me start by saying I turned into a zombie. I started losing my speech, for, forgetful of what I wanted to say, memory loss, stuttering, which was so much unlike me. I'd be sitting at work and my shoes would be so painful, feeling like my feet were being squeezed. I'm almost done with, with this recording, but I'm not going to wrap everything up on this one. So please watch out for part two. Lady, you could say, come on, how steady we can get in the was high. Can't say what events for say, said Sissy High Slammer. I don't like how soon I will create the story seller. If you don't want to fast, it's your salus, it's our own city, was enough to lorry. Ask about Alabal and why would you sit up with Lee or Tamola Fatsy? Oh, Tamola or Tamola or Tamola, and I won't so as I will look a whole plan to move the way. Who hung her say, however, be so pity, look at a kitty lazy, listen to the motion of us or ho shano fatsa ke nthwe le rata le mo mamela hantle hona o ntse a reng jwale le ganyane eh ha ke bonona la mafapa ntle le zonto go ba ke mametse mona ho thwe mofumadi wa hai o na itse ba tabenana ha ke re tho ba bangata ba tswang river sea ba ke ba hleke fetswa ke bishop zonto ba tla go hlalosetsa hore eh mofumadi wa hai siabi o tiki ma fiki ma my wife o na bona hala tse ba taba yo jwale le ka mona ga setse sisi wa u kwa hore so the name of baba prophet Bulu <laughs> Tabaka <laughs> Tinea <laughs> Ho hang rudely the hooligan, her slogger, Jesu fella on a run. No more under the motor job, he pet happy kiss was six seven eighty five ninety eight one fifty three. Hanomora memo mozabakan sabato carata, whatever the motors are so It is over six nine seventy three seven hundred ninety one. A So Harry Bonner had sent a moka saco, Barata was head at one of a neighbor, La Seleka Monica Ho, and that demogoto, my good job on a little like Lemon Manasa Mogoto. Harakopani mohe kelebo.